guys welcome back to the channel as promised i'm going to give you guys my price prediction for luna classic for the short term now the reason why i'm giving you guys the short term price prediction is because i want everybody here to focus on where we currently are and the area that we need to break through in order to see a parabolic move so before i actually get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always click the bell notification icon so you can stay updated for all my recent videos remember guys nothing that you've seen in this video is financial advice so always make sure to do your own independent research and with that being said pause the video click the link in my description and join the telegram group so you can stay updated for all my recent updates news updates technical updates and much much more so let's get straight into it so as you guys can see we're up over let me just refresh up over 20 percent so far for the day on Luna Classic which is actually outperforming the overall market as I explained on my previous videos if you guys did just watch that right which is super good news now the question is where can Luna Classic go from here so in the short term we have this major resistance area right and this area dates back to May 2022 uh, where essentially we saw price uh, you know go try find the bottom it basically went back up people thought that this would be the reversal unfortunately rejected this level and then of course found the new low and of course we started to bottom out at this area here right so we do need to break this resistance area that is the first thing that needs to happen before any of us can get truly excited because what happens is once this area is broken we can essentially see price you know go from strength to strength and that's what i want you guys to focus on so for price to hit this area we would see a 95 percent move now some of you some of you may be thinking wow that's incredible some of you may be thinking well what's so great about that i want a thousand percent i want two thousand percent but guys you have to learn to run before you can walk right and that's what luna classic needs to do first right and i do expect those 200 300 gains within you know three days less than a week again i do expect that at some point again but for now this area needs to be breached and the good news is for everybody that's watching this video now whether you're a Luna Classic skeptic whether you're someone that is enthusiastic about the project maybe you're someone that just randomly came across this video well the good news is this is also presents itself with a good short-term day trade opportunity as well so do keep that in mind so in fact we're also going to talk about the token burn as well i know a lot of you guys are watching this video because you want to learn more about that i am also going to get into that as well just give me a, one more minute and i'll get into that topic as well so once we break this area we should see this pattern occur so i believe we break this area we see a hundred percent move i do think we'll probably you know hit a psychological level at some point which is probably around this area and then we see a pullback which is to be anticipated this is where a lot of people will actually take profit and then we should hopefully f see this area as a new area of support this should be a solid support and i'm expecting a pullback like this to happen within hours and then of course we should start to see a nice parabolic move i think uh, based on uh, the analysis that i did at the start of the year and my fib extension two seconds guys i have in total and i think this can happen in less than a month and I, i'm actually being very pessimistic here i want to say 500 percent, but we're going to shave off a huge percentage of that and i think we can see a 350 percent move from where we currently are by hopefully the end of I want to say end of November that may seem like a long way away from here but the reason why I'm, I'm giving that call end of November is because we still need the overall market to move of course we have uh, you know Luna Classic outperforming the market now which is great and again if I would refresh just one more time okay we're down 19.7 percent if we compare this to the overall market you can see that most other cryptocurrencies are currently down for the day which is good uh, and whether Luna Classic can maintain a 20% move, you know, daily, etc. I mean, that's another question. 
but hopefully the overall market starts to move uh, by September which should hopefully trigger a parabolic rally across the board which should trigger Luna Classic to rally and maybe close just above the 350% area by the end of November which is the worst case scenario and again guys you know I'm just trying to give you guys the best possible analysis and based on previous moves so for example if you guys remember going back to June 2022 where we saw uh, that parabolic move that lasted for about four days three to four days we saw price rally and we saw a hundred and fifty three percent move within the space of three to four days right so you will understand that a move like this number one isn't realistic and you can see i've kind of under downplayed it just as an insurance policy in case the overall market doesn't take off right so we do have to uh you know focus on that as well now well done for making it this far in the video I'm now going to talk about the token burns and what's going to help Luna Classic's price inflate and go up in value, right? So firstly, for those of you that are probably wondering, you've heard the term token burns over and over and over again, and usually it's for coins with a large coin supply. So coins like Shiba Inu, coins like Dogecoin, basically loads of meme coins. You, you typically hear uh, you know, and some NFT tokens as well, right? And the reason why is because this project they ended up minting loads of coins, right? So they started off with a billion coins, and uh, to basically deal with the the, the UST uh, the collapse, sorry, of UST USDC US USTC. Sorry, guys, I'm having a bit of a tongue twister right now. Um, they started minting loads of coins, uh, Terra Classic, you know, loads of printing started to occur, which basically started to devalue the project even faster than it already was being devalued at. And what um, coin, what burning basically means is permanently removing a number of tokens from circulation. This is typically done by transferring the tokens in question to a burn address, i.e. wallet, from which they cannot ever be retrieved. It's often described as destroying tokens, right? A project burns its tokens to reduce the overall supply. In other words, it creates a deflationary event. The motivation is often to increase the value of the remaining tokens since assets tend to rise in price whenever the circulating supply falls and they become more scarce. Now, this uh, token burn is actually being led by the community, right? It's not being led by Duquan himself. In fact, many of the, the you know the team have moved on to the new chain less luna 2 but many of the community has stayed with luna classic and they want to make this work which is why we're seeing those massive uh, token burns and you know the community getting together and you know basically burning tokens so burning tokens can be similar to a company buying back its shares the company returns the value to its shareholders in this way crypto products burn their tokens to achieve the same goal now i hope that makes things clear to a lot of you so basically the, the reduction in supply should inflate the price now there's something that i will read to you before we wrap this up that you guys must know so the price of the token does not necessarily increase overnight when the burn takes place. Sometimes other news about the token can overwhelm the impact. Alternatively, investors may know a token burn is going to happen and price it in at an earlier point. Even so, in the long run, burning tokens tend to support an asset's price and is considered a positive move, right? So it does, just because token burns are happening does not mean that this is going to you know, rocket a million percent overnight right but over time we should see the effects of this we're already starting to see that with coins like shiba inu we're already starting to see that with other products and other meme coins so it's only a matter of time before the token burns catch up and luna classic goes to the moon so that is my price prediction i 
think we will head towards that 350 percent area before uh, by the end of november now of course if hopefully the market takes off and we can hit that target by the end of september who well, who knows maybe even the first two weeks of december september but of course we want to account for things that may go wrong or the market not moving at all but anyway guys that's it for now hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you understand nothing in this video is financial advice and you do your own research and if you want to learn more and want access to our 100x gems and more click the link in my description and join our crypto group premium channel today anyway guys that's it for now seize the day